Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Hercules by Name Brand Bag Company. Let's go ahead and dive in and break this bag down. We'll start with materials. Slow side, this is that herringbone carpet. I don't know if this is, this, this, this looks like a little bit larger herringbone. I don't know if it's just the colors give more of an optical illusion. I'm trying to compare it with some of the other ones, but I, it feels like, it plays like, it acts like that traditional herringbone carpet that we're used to, so I'm going to call it that. It may be a, quite, a slightly different manufacturer, it may be a slightly different style, but it's very similar to it as far as playability wise. So we got the herringbone carpet. I call it a five speed. Again, this is this material is very manipulative in that you can you can rough it up and slow it down. You can keep it clean, speed up. You know, anywhere from a four to a six. But most conditions, five speed. It's it's great for control. It's it, it's pretty whole friendly for what it is. It, it's a very player friendly material. A lot of people love this because of the versatility you have with it. And I'll get more into that playability. But anyway, five speed on the slow side, fast side. This is a material that. A uh, 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 name brand uses on several of their bags. I know the Big Jack 2.0. I'm pretty sure it's the same fast side that I used on that bag. I think the Merlin also uses it on the fast side. I can't remember for sure. I had a set. I don't know where to do, but I, I think it does. I don't know if they use it on some of their other, of their other bags. I've seen it on a few other bags before, but it's not a really popular material outside of name brand bag company, which it, it's, it's, I don't know why. It plays really well. It's an, about an eight speed, I'd say. You know, so it, it's fast. It's great for for pushing, collecting, sliding up the board in most conditions. We're looking at about a five, eight speed on this. One thing I will say about the materials that I really liked and I noticed when I first picked it up is these materials both have a similar feel to it. So whether you're throwing slow side, you flip it over to fast side, it has a similar feel. Like sometimes when I get bags that have different feels on the, on the materials, when you flip it over, you immediately know it and you go fast side. It just gives you a different feel and, and it kind of changes the way you release the bag, the way you grip. It just gives you a different it, 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 it takes away the consistency. By having the same feel, no matter which way you're holding the bag, it, it lends to being a little more consistent with the bag. And I do like that. I really like the fact the materials are very similar in the way they feel, but they play different speeds. So template-wise on this, it's a medium to small template. I mean, it's on the smaller side. It's, you know, at first I got it, I thought, man, this is a really small bag because it's very full. But once you break it in, you start loosening up a little bit. It, it you know, it's not as small as it looks. It's it's well within specs. It, it it meets the minimum guidelines. It's not the smallest bag that I think I've thrown. But because it's so full, it feels even smaller. I mean, this has a lot of fill to it. It's a bead fill in here, which gives a lot of volume. So if you like a full bag, you like a bag that doesn't have a lot of flop to it, this Hercules is your bag. There's very little flop to this bag whatsoever. It's definitely a on the fuller side, which gives you a wonderful handful. When you grab it, you've got a ton of beads to really grab, lock down. You can lock this bag in. Gives you a ton of control over the bag. There's really no flop there. So I had complete control of throwing this bag. I'll get more into the pluses and minuses of the fullness of the bag when I get to play ability on that. But anyway, it is a full bag. Again, it's it's got the bead fill, which gives the bag a lot of movement for shot shaping, but also gives the bag some kick, gives it some bounce. So if you don't throw the flattest of bags, especially when you get some material dirty and roughed up, it's going to grab even more and cause the bag to kick on you. So you're going to have some kick here. But again, that kick leads to the cutability. The bag is awesome for shot, shaping shots with cuts, rolls, flops, all that stuff. It does a great job there. So anyway, let's go and jump into playability on this Hercules. And this is a bag to me, it it, it, it reminds me in, in, in the, the materials and the fill, and it's not exactly the same. The fast side is different, but the materials, the fill, the way it feels, it reminds me of the 21, 22 Wizards. Not, not that the, the 23, 24 Wizards are a little bit larger template, but pre-23 had a smaller template. Probably my favorite wizard. I love that smaller template wizard. And that's what this bag is reminiscent of. It really feels a lot like that. You know, again, slightly different fast side. It's got a slightly different feel to it, but it has that movement. And, and to me, this is a bag. You can control this this slow side. You can put blockers. If you have complete control, I can put blockers wherever one on the board. Being a smaller, fuller bag, it's not a big bag on the board, so it, it's easy to get around. It's played upon who who can who has cuts or who's, who's a comfortable stepping out, they can get around the bag fairly easily. It's not gonna it's not gonna you know make a really big obstacle on the board. But still, for a lot of opponents, just just putting a block up there is a mental, a visual obstacle, and it, it causes them to change their shot and causes them to make more mistakes. And that's what you're trying to do with the blocker. But I had no problem throwing blockers up there, uh, collectability in the bag, being a fuller bag. You know, it doesn't accordion up, right? You hit that corner, just clip the corner. It's going in. The bead fill, the bag, you get this bag moving in the hole, it's going to drip in. Now, on the negatives of being a fuller bag is you don't have that flop on that corner to grab that hole when you go by. And I talk about linen zones and the forgiveness of the bag. This bag being fuller, kind of a, a smaller feel to it, it has a smaller landing zone. 
So when you throw it up there, if you don't get enough of that bag in there, if you get, you know, a good third to half of that bag over the hole, it'll grab it, spit around, come in and melt nicely in the hole. But if you're just getting a quarter of that bag or getting just that quarter to go in, it's not going to grab. It just doesn't grab. It just wants to skip past. Plus, this bag has some bounce to it. So if you land too close to the hole, it, it, you have a tendency it will bounce over the hole. Skip over the hole. You got to be aware of that. Same thing with collecting. I talk about collecting. You can throw blockers up there. It collects well. But if you land too close to your bag, sometimes you get that just that natural bounce. Even if you're not trying to roll, the bag will just hop over the corner and miss. So you've got to land either right behind the bag. If I'm going slow side, I'll try to lay like right behind the bag or just on the bag and push and ride it in. If I'm going slick side, I try to lay a little further back to get that bag time to kind of bounce, hop, settle in, and then push and slide through. So as long as you're aware of that, it's not hard to deal with. It's not hard to adjust to. Just be aware of that. Now, the po positives of that is if your opponent throws a blocker up there, you don't have to be crazy and try to get a tilt to get a back low, whatever. If you just land just a, just a few inches behind, the bag naturally wants to kind of hop and skip over you get just a slight cut tilt to it, it doesn't take much the back will make some pretty harsh cuts around one side or the other you can really manipulate the back and that's where i think this bag shines is when i'm playing an opponent who plays a dirty style game and they're putting bags in my way and i don't want to collect their bags i just want to put mine in and make them work to collect that's where this bag stands because i have so many options of how to get around that bag you know i could you know if they throw a blocker up there i could step out slick side and just bully into their bag and and go in i can throw a cut you know, I can go right to left with my cut and sneak around. I can go left to right, sneak around where it is. You can roll this bag. I mean, this is a great bag. Even if you're not a great roll bag thrower, this bag just wants to get up and move. So if you're trying to learn to roll, this is an easy bag to learn, easy bag to roll, easy bag to flop. So if you're if you're looking at trying to add that to your game and you want to practice with it, great bag to do that with. Again, it, it sometimes it wants to almost roll or get up and roll on its own. I wasn't even trying to. It wants to kind of get up and hop. And I, I play the balance more than I do anything else. Just trying to hop over that corner if I don't want to cut. Or sometimes I just want to kind of just light, slight cut, cut into and around their back. It does a great job of that. Like I so said, the bead fill, if you can get the bag started in the hole, the bead fill wants to drip in. If a bag's left hanging, and you will get some bags hanging from time to time, not that hard to collect. You could throw a cut. Again, great for cuts or a cut across, collect it, whichever side it's on. So on the other side, you can cut with the other cut. You can, you can, you can, you know, just putting a bag in. If you could just get those beads started moving, they're going to cascade in and they're just going to drip in the hole. So the, the bag may not be the most hole friendly bag as far as forgiveness around the hole, as far as it will hang up from time because this material does stick up, will hang from time to time. But it is a very easy bag to put in the hole. As long as it's not your last bag, more than likely, if you get a bag up around the hole, it's going to go in. All in all, it's a wonderful bag for playing an opponent who plays a dirty style game. You know, and, and if you play on faster boards or, you know, you just like you just like the feel of a fuller bag, this is this is a great bag for you. And, and, and really, honestly, the fullness of the bag, as I mentioned, gives you a ton of control. Like I, I really felt like I had complete control of how the bag came into my hand. I could control the angles, the tilts. You know, I could control exactly where I wanted to land the bag. I just felt like I had total control because the bag is fuller and smaller. There's not a lot of flop. The whole bag is locked in my hand. I loved the control I had with this bag. I loved the ability that I had options. So no matter what the board looked like, I had options. And when it came time, fast side, plenty of fast enough to push through and clean up. You know, one bag, two bags, multiple bags, whatever I needed to do, I could push through and, and, and collect the bags I need to collect. So I really enjoyed throwing this bag. So it was reminiscent of the 2022 Wizards. So I mentioned that, and I absolutely love that bag. And this bag really brought back those memories and the playability I have with that bag. And definitely, if you're familiar with that, that that your wizard or the, those smaller trumpet wizards, you're going to love these Hercules. Definitely give them a try. Leads me to availability on this. A name brand bag company has a website. It's namebrandbagco.com. I think that's right. I'll put a link in the description. They have a shop there. Bags are $79.95, $79.99. I can't remember. Just under 80 bucks for a set of bags. Very reasonable. I didn't mention these are ACL stamp for 2024. These Hercules are comp stamp, which again, it doesn't matter if you're, as long as you're not a pro, playing a pro events, you can throw those. Any, any of you watch this video can throw these bags in the ACL events. It doesn't matter. They're not lesser quality than a pro bag. I mentioned that in a video I did before. So I, I want to reiterate that. So, ACL stand bag, you can get it for under 80 bucks. Shipping was like eight, 830, I think, shipping. So under 90 bucks shipped to you. Wonderful price, very reasonable. It's kind of on that cheaper and lower priced of ACL stand bags. So definitely worth worth checking them out. So I definitely recommend the Hercules, if especially if you like a fuller, smaller, fuller shield of bag, a bag without a lot of flop. I get quite a few ask me about that all the time. This is definitely a bag you want to check out. If you like to play a shot shaping game, if you like to have control over your bags, you've definitely got these Hercules. So I love your feedback. If you throw them in, let me know what you like, what you don't like in the bags. Always love hearing you guys' feedback and your guys' opinions on these things. And I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.